Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Minecraft server using PaperMC. Now before this video begins, you're going to need to download a couple of things. The first one's going to be OpenJDK. You want to go to this website, adoptium.net. I will have the link in the description, so you go ahead and follow that and just click on latest LTS release. And as you can see at the top, the download started. While we're waiting on that to download, we can go over to PaperMC.io. Go ahead to the top here click downloads and then just download the latest version just wait for that to complete so once that's downloaded you can go ahead and just open up the open jdk installer go ahead and hit next just keep hitting next and then go ahead and click on install and then once that's finished you can go ahead and click finish now that you have open jdk installed you can go ahead and delete the installer and now all we need is the paper 1.19 jar on your desktop go ahead and click new and create a new folder you can name this folder whatever you want i'm just going to name it server go ahead and drag your jar file into the server folder you can close out of your downloads folder for now. Now inside of your server folder, what you're going to do is click up here where it says server on the directory bar, type CMD. And now if you have Java JDK installed, you can type Java dash jar. And then the name of the paper dot jar, which is for me, it's going to be paper dash 1.19. 61.jar. It's going to go ahead and download everything and just set up your server for you. Just like that, it's going to go ahead and say fail to load properties and it's going to say fail to load yola.txt. Go ahead and fix that. You just want to open up where it says yola.txt. Change yola equals false to yola equals true. Go ahead and hit file and save. You can go ahead and close out of this. Run that command one more time. And it should go ahead and start up your Minecraft server for you. If it asks you, go ahead and hit allow access for the Windows Defender firewall. And you'll notice you'll get this, this GUI prompt here. As you can see, it loaded up really fast. And that's one of the reasons we use PaperMC instead of Spigot. It's because it loads the server extremely fast. And now you'll notice you have this GUI with all the stats and everything. If you did want to go ahead and get rid of that, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and get rid of that. You can close out of the server for now. Back in this command prompt, you want to add a new argument dash dash no gui just like that it'll go ahead and run the minecraft server in the command prompt as you can see the server's loaded up now you might be asking well what happens if i forget the command and maybe you just don't feel like typing it every time you want to start the server it's actually really simple just make sure you have here at the top on your file explorer you hit view make sure you have file name extensions checked and now what you want to do is right click on your folder create a new text document you just want to open this Type in the command that I gave to you previously. And for simplicities, I'm gonna go ahead and rename my paper.jar to paper.jar. You can go ahead and follow along with that if you'd like. Now just make sure where it says new text document.txt, you delete everything in it and you just type start.bat. And now every time you wanna start the server, you just wanna go ahead and run this file. And just like that, you have your Minecraft server set up. Now, if you wanted to change the properties of the server, you just want to right click on the server.properties, select open with, and go ahead and find notepad. Here are all the properties for your server. You can change the seed, the game mode, the message of the day, which is just the message that shows up when your players have it added to their server list. You can also change the server port, which leads into port forwarding, which I will create a whole separate video on how to port forward your Minecraft server. Just for an example, I'm going to change the message of the day to Subscribe to Clem on YouTube. Now what we're going to do is just go ahead and start our server again. And then we can just load into Minecraft and join our server. For me, I'm going to be using Lunar Client. Just make sure that you're launching in the same version as your Minecraft server. For me, it's 1.19. For you guys, it should be 1.19. But whichever version you guys have, make sure you launch Minecraft in that version. Otherwise, you won't be able to join. Once you're loaded in, you just want to make sure you hit on multiplayer. You can go ahead and select add server. Now you can name this whatever you want. For me, I'm just going to name it my server. Now for the server address, what you want to type is local host, all one word. Just select done. And as you can see, our message of the day is showing up. And this shows up for everybody that adds your server to their server list. As you can see, it says subscribe to Clem on YouTube, which you guys should do. And now you can go ahead and join it. And as you can see, we're now in our Minecraft server. Don't mind the little modules I have on my client. This is just because it's Lunar Client. Now, if you were wondering, we can try to change your game mode. You can see it says we don't have permission to do that. So how do we fix that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Just make sure that in our console, you type in op space and then whatever the name of your Minecraft account is. For me, it's going to be Big Boy Clem. Let's go ahead and hit enter. 
just like that, we're now a server operator, which means we can do game mode creative. I wouldn't recommend giving operator to anybody on your Minecraft server other than you or your friends or others that you know. And just like that, you have your Minecraft server set up. Now if you wanted to add plugins to your Minecraft server, there's actually a folder that's called plugins. And that's where you're going to place all of your plugins. Now if you want to download plugins, you can go ahead and go to this website, spigotmc.org slash resources. Uh, I'm going to leave this in the description as well, so you can go ahead and just click on that and look for plugins that you'd like to add. Now I found one that I that looks pretty interesting. It's called item name display. And a real quick tip, if you're trying to figure out why a plugin is not working for your server, make sure that the Minecraft version is set to the version that your server is running. As you can see, it was testing on 1.19, so it should go ahead and work for 1.19. You just want to go ahead and click download now. As you can see, it downloads the jar. And you just want to place that inside of your server folder. Just like that, you can go ahead and just drag this into here, into your plugins folder. And now if you go into Minecraft, you'll notice that if you type plugins that there's actually no plugins and the reason that is is because you have to reload your server and it's going to make you type reload confirm and as you can see the server is reloaded now if we type plugins you'll see it says display name so now if we drop something on the ground it'll actually show up the item and the amount and if we go ahead and test this with just a diamond chest plate this is really cool how cool is that? Well, I hope this did actually go ahead and teach you guys something. If it did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on notifications so that you never miss another one of my videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.